Today we're uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Tim's about to pull up, and we're doing a coffee shop and spray wall tour of Salt Lake City. Yo ho ho! You don't even need a coffee to wake up with that music. <laughs> we're starting here at the OG front. OG front. There's a cafe in here. We'll test out some coffee there just for a very like baseline review. In terms of climbing areas, we're gonna hit or climbing gyms. We'll hit OG, and then the training center, and then South Main, and then Momentum, Mill Creek. So technically, I'm not supposed to be on like that hard climbing because of my finger, but uh, I found ways to like boulder hard without bothering my finger. And we'll have so much espresso in us that it won't even <laughs> matter. Like We could just climb all day and we'll be super psyched. I'm going just pure espresso at all the shops. Tim's going cortado or like latte. Or my number for the taste here, it's actually better than I thought. I'll give this a seven. We'll start. We'll start with now. Nah, we'll start with a six. I six. think it's a little bit boring for gym coffee. Very. Good. It's very good. Very yeah. good for gym coffee. And it rivals like some of the Europe cafes. Like we're just gonna jump straight into hard blocks. We already did our warm ups, but didn't film any of that. Always warm up well. Don't don't skip it. Turns out coffee is not enough nutrition. I think I need food. I'm gonna try it and you'll see how hard it actually is. Nice, Tim. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah! I'm liking this board a lot right now. The holes are all pretty comfy. It means you can do like limit moves without just destroying your skin and fingers. We said one more boulder like four times now, but we're gonna be so destroyed by the time we get to momentum. All right, last boulder, last boulder. Pro tip, always brush the thumbs. Let's go, Tim. Come on, Tim. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you hold that? I know. I think we're gonna have to upgrade the coffee rating for this place because clearly it's doing something different for Tim. Uh, hold selection, it's better than every spray wall in California. So I give it a five, uh, but it's the worst one here, I think. Just, it's, it's, it's tough because I'm basing it off of like my experience climbing here and all the other walls and not just like what the session was today. Because the session today was super fun. I've set a lot of spray walls or like I've reset our spray wall a couple times and I care about like, the balance of the wall so like making sure that a pinch a jug a cramp and a sloper is like kind of accessible everywhere and there's more than enough feet for like making up problems and like spray walling so i'd say the old layout was a six uh again we're being really critical a six is pretty good aesthetic i'm gonna give it a three uh just because uh, the lighting is like not great uh it feels claustrophobic because there's two walls on either side of you so you can never really do like really big moves without feeling you're gonna dab on the sides um, and then uh, there's a lot of gaps in the wall. Again, that's me being overly critical, but like it's pretty, uh, pretty unideal setup. The kilter board is like far more enjoyable in there to climb on because there's no sidewalls. Um, cool. So that's like a total rating. We'll put like a little box yeah. on the side. Pro tip: <laughs> Don't get t-boned by a deer. All right. 
he was actually t-boned by a deer like the deer just ran into the back of his car while he was driving down the highway boom Right away, a lot of points. I get to choose the type of jam I wanted on my goat cheese and jam toast. Look at the list of jam they have. That's that's a pretty solid list. You went nitro cold brew? I, went, I got a mocha. And I obviously went espresso because that's the, that's the only non-communist coffee drink out there. Can you Once see the you char on this toast? The char. The pepper. Yeah. You see that it's served in a jar? This is, I mean, like, this is what you want. Most good coffee shops should serve a little thing of sparkling water with their espresso. That's how you know it's legit. Just to cleanse the palate. Well, we're gonna get it's the a bit bitter, right to be honest. I'll probably give it like a a six and a half out of ten in terms of taste but the overall experience is really high with the tonic water and this nice serving plate and the natural flat lighting in here so this is savory stone it's a good way to go i can smell a coffee vlog from a mile away john is the the king of coffee connoisseuring we'll show you our, our setup at home but he spends hours every day Perfecting. We're publicing right now. This is devolving really quickly just to like a general food. This is not sponsored content either. No, it's this not. This is <laughs> definitely not. No. We are just passionate about climbing and coffee and food. Yeah, we're paying out of pocket. Not in that order. Actually, everything. probably food, then coffee, then climbing. I think our goal with the blog is to make it a lot more informative than it actually is and like share more experiences and like just our perspectives on like training, climbing, like food, and all this stuff. Totally. in a way that's authentic, but that yeah, takes we, time and energy. It takes a ton of time. Um, and, yeah. and these scones are not cheap at all, so. These scones are not cheap. Yeah, <laughs> like this, this coconut water is like absolutely mandatory for the vlog today, but I had to pay for it. <laughs> that last move that he did at the front, he would not have done that no, if he hadn't have like worth like had two, like $30 worth of gourmet yeah. food the day before. Two, two $30 donations and like. Boom, that's a hard block. Yeah, that's a hard block. That's, that's one that's block. Hard... Okay, we're here. Quick way. tip. You need at least like three shots just to get up here because there's like a hundred feet of stairs. <laughs> Look at this. Like there's no way you're making it up yeah, like I, the quarter I, I, mile of stairs. Once you're here, the aesthetics are very nice. Like the aesthetics are very nice. You have a nice view of this the inversion. Win. This might win, this wall. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking about. In, in terms of aesthetics. Yeah, very natural lighting. Yeah. It's like never very crowded. You've got some other boards. Climb on the style of spray wall the least, but I actually really appreciate it because it's really hard. Yeah. There's almost no jugs on it. What up, Brennan? Yo, what's up? We're gonna do just some campus blocks here. Yeah. The first one starts here. We'll yeah. Pinch. Yeah. Pinch. Wow. Pinch. Wow. Blue pinch. Holy. Huge move to the red. Pop. And then finish on the top. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Tim. <laughs> nice, dude. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Holy. Oh my god. I like warming up on pinches because they don't like tweak anything. The campusing takes a lot of technique to like derive momentum for each move. Good. Come on. Yep. Blue's good. Nice. This one's good too. Yep. Big swing. Red's good. Come on. Come on. Oh. Trying this pocket. Just match like this. You got this small cramp. And then I actually split my cuticle on this one. Yeah. It's like crimping. And then you got a purple pinch. And this one's not that good actually. It's like pretty yeah, scary. It's not the in cut one. Yeah. And then the wood pinch. Come on, Tim. Ali, 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 Ali. Wow. It's hard to understand how hard they are when he keeps flashing them, but they are properly hard. Nice, come on. Big, big. Oh. That's cool, you have to like place your body from that side to this side before you go to this hole. Yeah. Boom. Okay, next one. Okay, go wood, which is like not very good, it's angled, and then this wood. Okay. Um, and then the blue horizontal pinch, which is like super ah, sweet. 
dog yeah. doo-doo. Dog doo-doo. Mash it. And then the pink almost vertical one. Okay. And then finish on top. That one. This is the hardest one so far, Tim says. Yeah. The thing is in the way. And then, yeah, this one, which is quite bad. Yep. And a really big move to the wood, this one. It's way worse than it looks. It's super slick. And then you go really wide to the dark wood, this one. Okay. And then cross, super wide. cross in, like narrow to a really bad hole. And then finish in the blue pocket. He says it's supposed to be a long-term project. Come on, Tim. Let's go, Tim. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it, you got it. You got it. Yeah. What an absolute savage. Wow. He only does the hard ones, like not the easy ones. Nice job, dude. That was sick. I sat down to take off my shoes, but... <laughs> we should make one that just ends on the wall. It's so bad, but it's like barely holdable. Come on. Dude, nice! Oh. <laughs> Wait, that match is so limit. That's the performance right there. <laughs> you guys want to stick to nothing? I want to try. Check out the link to Rhino Skin in the description below. It genuinely helps so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're doing one last challenge before we leave. We're gonna do a Dyna to this hold and see who can like slap the farthest back. You can see there's my forearm print and there's a vein in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Let's go, Tim. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Genius. <laughs> well played. us up best espresso or sorry best cappuccino the best ever. cappuccino I've ever had our coffee doesn't have any flaws and so it's the absence of flaws that makes everything more pronounced John like saying espresso is the ultimate drink to really understand how good a, a shop is Tim doesn't usually like espresso and John just said he's <laughs> having bad espresso because it should not be acidic, acidic yeah. at all if your espresso is bitter you're having <laughs> espresso Three to four sips is your target. One is just wrong, and if you get to six, it's kind of weird. Oh my god, you should get an espresso. I get an espresso. Definitely get an espresso, Tim. This could be the day that Tim's turned into an espresso. Oh, so you theme. might ruin the rest of espresso in the entire world. That's today. true as well. <laughs> well. Yeah, I tend to do that. <laughs> he tends to do that. <laughs> That's how you really know. Really try it out. The guy's good. He got me to get the fourth cup today. Today. <laughs> and it's the one that I just don't 
usually want, but I trust him. Okay, there's the water. Pilot cleanser down. Well, that smells fabulous. It's insane what my tongue is going through right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan, how's your boba? <laughs> it actually looks very good. My eyes are doing weird things right now. <laughs> it felt like the deepest dark chocolate I've ever had, and it just like coated my whole tongue. Um, it was still acidic, but like not repulsive. Like, not, not in a way that like makes me want to reject it, you know? Like make a face. It's like super, super smooth too, and like very yeah. consistent through the whole drink. I always think that people find us when they're ready. Yeah. And if you don't find us, kind of means you don't actually like coffee. <laughs> wow. That was, that was really good. I was enjoying just hearing him talk about it because I was like, that's exactly how we talk about it. That's a passionate man. <laughs> yeah. Bad. We'll give the texture an 11, and yeah. then we'll give the aesthetic a 9. So it, it was so perfect. smooth. It just like it was melted so your it mouth. To the TC. All right, we're here at the TC. We're gonna shake some grips off the wall because we're <laughs> shaking so much. How many shots have you had? Four. No, well yeah, yeah, but they're all doubles. That was a double? That was Every one of us has been a double. I've had eight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the TC. I've had a lot of coffee. Slab wall practice. We have campus board, hang boards, comp walls, spray wall, cardio, workout area, stretching, and then a ton of holds all in the back. This is Josh, Josh Larson, bop, bop. head US team coach and setter and creator of all of these blocks. We have just invented the future of competition warming up. Pretend those count um, with the, the kiss. One, I'm a purist with one arm. I don't like the kiss at all. Just not with coffee. He's a <laughs> nice. I don't know what they're called, but they're good for your shoulders. All right, straight away, this wins the uh, the layout and hold selection so far. Easy, ten out of ten. Whoa. Oh yeah, I wanted to try this one. Little different this time. I told myself that money would never be a factor. Now I'm laughing at Benny Hanna's with benefactors. My son, my soul for an artist's love with them giant raptors. My chef cooking that steak and lobster on giant platters. We're taking all I can for this path of master. Path to disaster and slave by the master. I'm hearing they laughter, uh. Nice. Took off my own grapes. Yes, I'm blasted. Pockets is fatter. Without peace, what does it matter? Manifesting this madness. My career is in the stage. Up, just a side show. Carrying the shame. Maybe where did I go? Yes, Ali. Nice, <laughs> So strong. Come on, dude. Timmy Boulder right there. Nice. 
come on, Tim. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, super good. Come on, Tim. And yeah, and then go to another coffee shop and then go to another gym. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Oh, Ooh. that one's bad. Yeah. This is a, a Sean Bailey special. Your skin might not be good, but you're good, Ross. Come on. Nice. Ollie. Come on. Come on. Yes, dude. Come on. <laughs> that was absurd. Good job, dude. That was sick. That was super, super stand start. Yeah. <laughs> Those two holes were the stand start. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's complaining about being tired for some reason. Okay, some actual useful advice right here. We'll make it a pro tip. I haven't been pro tipping lately. We gotta get back on that. All right, here's an, an actual legitimate pro tip. When you're campusing at the spray wall in Salt Lake City at the USTC. Okay, no, scratch that. Okay, when you're campusing, just in general, it's super, super important to think about how you like generate into the wall and like your body positioning, like on, I don't even know what I'm saying. Tim, finish what I'm saying. So Ross is saying we can this with your genitals. You, <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you generate. Uh -oh. how, do you, how do you generate well when you're campusing? Okay. So a lot of your movement is derived from momentum. If oh. Tim is just like hanging on two holds, he'll actually swing out backwards and then pull. And as he like swings towards the wall, right. he'll like pull up. And that's how you like get your hips and your whole body to like stay close to the wall yeah. and keep your momentum like moving inwards. Whereas like if you start to pull up like as you're swinging out, you're gonna like come away from the wall and yeah. it's oh, gonna be really hard. So for example, camp move I'm making right now, like I'm gonna start on this, right? But because it's not a downfall and it's angled, I have to start my legs like here and do this and I flip my sides and I have to like swing like this. Boom. And then my foot will swing. Beautiful. Up. It's like a dance. You see, he's super good, Tim. Nice. Come on. Beautiful. Yeah, so you're not like forcing any moves. You're not rushing everything. You kind of, you go with the flow of your own momentum. Yeah. And then on really hard moves, you have to like create your own momentum or like redirect. Like this was a pretty simple example where it's kind of like left, right. So you can use your swing. Yeah. But on like hard moves, like on like this blue cross that I did, I like slapped this, stopped all my momentum, and then regenerated so I could go left to go right. It's, it's like drifting. You turn left to go right. Like on this red thing, if your hand is here, you want to swing left, so then your whole body's in a line like this, so it's easier to pull to go right. His right knee tucks up here too. Left, left leg swinging back in. Right knees working. Boom, the flare. Beautiful, and then watch his right knee engage right here. Yup, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mandatory. This is why you get a kinetic chalk bag. Oh god, we're not plugging this thing. I'm plugging this thing. <laughs> Look. It doesn't spill. So drop you can rage. It. You can drop pick it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's a rage proof. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that just hooped up. <laughs> What happened, bro? Okay. We're going home. <laughs> we'll see you at John's house. Yeah. For, we need coffee. We need coffee, guys. We need... <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Tomorrow. Appreciate all the boulders no and the setting and everything.
approved, John. I approve. Look at that. It is uh, like 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Tim's and going for his 10th shot of espresso. Let me try it's good coffee. I like that coffee machine. I love it. It's 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 great. I think like mm. when I'm old and, and rich, then we'll get like a, I'm definitely gonna upgrade. We just came straight from the TC yeah. and are doing like real quick stop here, load up on some little food and some supplements and obviously some more coffee, and then we're headed to Milma for the last spray ball sesh. Same 18 up. grams. Yeah. Oh, it's one over. Look, you just take a couple beans and then. Straight down the hatch. Mm -hmm. Until Tim and I have the same supplement sponsors, we're gonna give them each equal love. So go check out Fizzy Vantage and Gnarly. Links in the description below. Um, grabbing some supercharged collagen before our last session. Oh yeah, I gotta make some supplements. And Tim's gonna put together a little concoction as well. Or just have 10 shots of espresso every day and then you don't need any supplements. Why don't? Don't do that. All right, we are at the biggest, baddest spray wall. Salt Lake. Ross is still at home doing homework and eating food and doing lame things. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end with some power moves on this. And I've had way too much coffee today, but we're having fun. hard blocks. I know, I can't fucking Actually, it. almost really good because you didn't do this one, but <laughs> you could, you've got potential. This whole day was actually just a warm up for that one attempt, but he blew it. I'm still like very caffeinated because we just had our final on, shot. Let's go Dalton. Yes. But my mind is like too, too fatigued to feel the caffeination. Honestly, this is probably the best like all around spray wall. Come on. Ah. Yes. gotta start warming up like this all the time. Let's go, dude. Hot it. So strong, Ross. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I don't know what I just witnessed. <laughs> that was that was like I thought that was gonna be V12, but <laughs> Ross just flashed. It, hey, so he just flashed V12. There we go. <laughs> you guys are probably sick of watching us fall in hard spray boulders, but like I love this <laughs> so much. Sometimes you just gotta keep climbing, and you'll realize you can do so much more than you you thought was possible. What Ross said, times two. Come on, Tim. Yeah. Oh. You got it, Tim. Espresso for a send right here. <laughs> Come on. Yes, dude. Holy. Come on. So strong. Come on, Tim. Everything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Reel it in. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> dude. So good. All right, this block process is about to try uh, with an old project of mine. I did it last time I was here, um, but I think it's pretty hard. Like, I think it's solid 12, um, but we'll see what he thinks. Come on, Ross. Come on. Really strong, dude. Let's go. Come on. Yes, come on. <laughs> That was, dude, Ross is, I think fourth, fourth session of the day is like actually the way to go. Nice tip. 
Commit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that flip was so limit. That was so sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nice. Good job, dude. Way to oh, end it. In another world, my mind is like. I know. This is so fun. Tim and I are both way outperforming our own expectations for this day. It's been so fun to push our limits and then keep pushing them. I think we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm just like trying to push ourselves and do stuff that doesn't really make any sense. Pro tip, you put your shoes on, make that attempt count. Boom. No matter what. No matter what. When you do like outperform your own expectations, like reset your expectations. Like now I know that <laughs> Tim and I both can climb like heinously hard board climbs like at the end of like an eight hour exhausting day. So that's just the new, the new normal for us now, hopefully. It will be, because we just said it will be. Also, big pro tip. This is actually in uh, the book that we've all been reading called With Winning in Mind. When you're performing well, like when you're climbing well, when you're doing anything well, like keep doing it. If you're outperforming your own expectations or executing super, super well, that's the time when you want to get as much experience as you can in that flow state or in that mindset or whatever's allowing you to perform really well. Like practice in that and, and understand how you're, how you're doing it. Tim's bailing. It's only our fourth spray wall and he's already leaving. I'm embarrassed to be climbing with him, honestly. Like, where's your commitment, Tim? What's your dawn wall? We're signing off for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Boom. Comment said it. on uh, what kind of content do you guys want. Always, we're willing and accepting of ideas. Yeah. We'll try cool things. We'll try hard for you. For us, too. Yeah, trying hard is the best. You just, it's the most fun. You learn the most, you get the, most results you just get better faster it's a good time and it's fun to bring everyone along to the journey and just experiment around and have fun with it so yes, yeah appreciate you guys supporting the channel Yee! Yee! peace <laughs>